Hello everyone, Maxim here, and in this video I will introduce you to the possible activities on the plains of Eidolon and the best methods of farming standing points for the Austrian Syndicate. It can be earned in many ways, but some of them are very unprofitable considering the effectiveness of the others. But before we go farming, let's first see what the different activities on the plains look like. First one will be mining. Old Man Sumbat has to offer free cutters. They allow you to extract gems and ores. First you will have access to the Nosem Cutter. After equipping it from the gear wheel, you will see on the left side of the screen how many deposits are within the range of the device, and on the right how many meters are to the nearest one. Once you locate the deposit, you will see from 1 to 3 pulsating points. You need to aim at them and shoot with the cutter. While holding the beam, you will see a filling circle. It is a point hitting bar. Try to aim to the center of the area as precisely as you can. If you see a smaller rectangle, aiming into it will give you a maximum precision from that point. Each such small rectangle gives you more resources, where the additional resource is always a gem, even if you mine ore. The precision of the deposit, on the other hand, is shown at the top of the screen during heating. The greater the precision, the more you will mine. You can find red and blue deposits. Red are ores, blue are gems. And now, a an regular cutter has a range of 30 meters and the screen will shake a little bit while mining. The focused version has a range of 45 meters and the shaking will be less. The best is advanced cutter, range 60 meters, screen stable. And the deposits will also be marked on the minimap if they are closer than 50 meters. This cutter is the only one that can mine Eidolon gems. You can turn the extracted resources into pure crystals and metals in the foundry using the blueprints from Old Man Sumbat. You can also exchange gems for Austrian standing points. I would like to add that in Gear Wheel you can only have one cutter at a time. And if you don't know whether a given resource is an ore or a gem and where to find it, link it on a chat by typing the name into square brackets and read the description. Another activity is fishing. To do this, you need one of the fishing spears from Fisher High Look. But which one you should choose? There is no best one, because each of them is for a different type of fish. It all depends on the skin of a given animal, whether it is smooth or covered with scales or carapace. If you use wrong one, you will not catch the fish in one throw. You will have to hit several times. Unless you will always use Volt for fishing. His passive ability to increase damage of the next attack by walking gives you the opportunity to catch any fish with any spear. However, if you are unable or do not want to use Volt, after equipping the spear from your gear wheel, you can hold down button 1. You will see all your spears you have bought and you can freely change them during the mission. Speaking of buttons, by pressing 2 you can find all your baits. Under button 3 you have die and the fish relaxer. Some of them lure all common day or night fish, when others only a specific species. So how to fish? You have to go to the shore of some water reservoir, pull out your spear and then after a while you will start to see fish. Then you can use a die to make them glow, or you can also use axolus to highlight fish and feeding areas. You can catch fish without any special bait, but they can be very useful and sometimes even necessary. Some species will not appear without a proper bait. However, they cannot be used anywhere. The baits must be thrown at the feeding areas. You will recognize them by the circles appearing on the water. You do not have to hit a specific circle perfectly. It will be enough more or less in the area where they appear. The feeding areas appear for a few minutes and then disappear. You have to change fishing spots regularly if you want to catch fish that only appear after using bait. In specific places and times of the day, you can meet specific species. Places where you can fish are on the outer parts of the map, the central lake and on all small ponds. Now you'll see the list where and at what time you can catch a specific type of fish. The resource booster and Smita's charm work on fish, ores and gems. And the third activity, conservation of the animals. But it is not that simple. If you haven't unlocked Fortuna or Necrolisk yet, the second and the third open world, you won't be able to catch animals by default method. There are some alternatives, but first things first. You can catch animals by using trunk rifle. It can be bought from the business on Fortuna or from Sun on Necrolisk. 
This is an essential element for default method. Put it in your gear wheel and now you can put to sleep and send back randomly found animals in open worlds. However, it is much easier if you buy echo lures. With the tranquilizer in your hand, press 2. You will see a list of available lures. After selecting one, you reduce the number of the hunting points on the map. Each point is an animal trace. Find it and click it to start following the traces. If you follow the footsteps long enough, you will come across the point where you can lure out the animal. First, use echo lure and wait for the animal to respond. Then, use it second time, but in the specific tone. You can set it by moving your screen up and down. If you hit the right tone, the animal will respond second time and appear after a few seconds. During the first and second luring, however, listen carefully, best if with headphones. The animal will respond from a specific direction. That will be the exactly direction it will come to you. While aiming the rifle, the animal will be highlighted and it will be visible through the obstacles. Shoot before it sees you and send it back. Depending on whether the capture was perfect, almost perfect or not much, you will get a different amount of points. It is not always easy, because the terrain can be very difficult and hostile mobs can scare the animal, but with time you will do better and better. During the luring phase, you can also use pheromones to have a better chance of uncommon or rare species. They are worth more points. However, each capture will give you a certain amount of animal tags that you can exchange for a beautiful decorative fluffs. However, I said before, that is the default method of catching animals. There is one that doesn't even require a tranquilizer. Of course, it is required to hunt a specific animal, but if you run freely in open world, you can put animals to sleep with Warframe skills. You can send them back like after using trunk rifle. You can also use these skills in normal hunting, instead of shooting. Considering that Equinox skill can put to sleep many mobs at once, it is even an easier method. Also Ivara can do it. So, which activity is the best for farming Ostron standing points? There is no clear answer here, as it depends on the preferences. It is known that you will not have access to everything at start. Until you get the 5th Ostron rank, farm as you can, bounties and any other activity. But when you will have access to everything, I will show you how it looks in practice, how many points you will earn with various activities, let's say in 5 minutes. Let's start with mining. You can only exchange gems from blue deposits for points. They are less common. If you mine also red deposits, you can aim the full precision rectangle point if they appear, to get gems also from ore deposits. You know, all methods depend on the RNG, but you will realize very fast that this method is not the best. In 5 minutes I found ores worth 4500 standing points. The number of gem deposits on the map can be increased with the resource chance booster or blessing on the relay from a player with 30 mastery rank or higher. But you can have both of course. Also regular resource booster can double mined minerals. But it is still not very profitable compared to other methods. But before we leave mining, let's talk about tumpers. In previous video I told you how to defeat them to get their drops. Theoretically, if you choose a high level bounty, you will be able to find one in a minute, defeat it and return to Cetus. Before you do that however, you must get into the area of the mission and leave it to make it fail. Why? If you fail current mission by returning through the gate, all your items will be lost. But why I am telling you this? Because tampers can drop regular and Eidolon gems that can be exchanged for standing points. In the calculations, let's assume the optimal scenario. A very efficient team, one person fails the bounty, others will find and kill a tamper in a minute. Then leave the planes, as this is the fastest method for the next tamper to appear. They reappear after some cooldown. After each tamper, you have to exit, start a new bounty and re-enter the planes. To make calculations more easy, let us assume that you will kill 4 tampers in 5 minutes. By using Necros, theoretically, every second minibus will drop an extra loot. So let's count that in 5 minutes, more or less, 
you will get loot from six tampers. However, further calculations are more complicated in a way, because the type of the goods you obtain are random, and the amounts you gain are also random for each player separately. After a lot of attempts, I had an average of around 2300 standing points from minerals from one tamper. Counting it six times, it gives almost 14,000 in five minutes, in of course perfect scenario. Pretty good result compared to normal mining, but there is a lot of RNG here. In addition, this method is not easy. It requires a very good build to deal very fast with high level tampers. Bounties are another source of standing points, but they do not give you a good amount. If you complete additional mission goals, you will get from 5 to 6000 for one high level bounty. However, the time is much longer, about 10 minutes on average, because there are faster and longer tasks, from 8 to 12 minutes. From bounties you will get a lot of interesting rewards of course, but the Ostron standing here is an addition, if you reached Ostron rank 5 if you want to farm it in the best possible way. And we come to the two best methods, catching animals and fishing. Conservation requires a trunk rifle, you can occasionally find some animals without it, but it will be much harder. If on the other hand you have one, and you also have an equinox, Ivara or Baruch, you can put more than one animal to sleep quickly and easily. If you stand up here, in the spot you see right now, and look around for your rifle, all you need to do is to check two or three directions. There are no other spawns close to this point. You can farm Quakas and Kondrox so quickly and easy, but also Vaska Kavats, if you do this at night. In five minutes of farming during the night, you can get around 16,000 points. And about fishing. There is more RNG here, because it depends on where feeding area will be active, if they will spawn often, and how big they will be. However, there is one thing that is a big advantage of this method. The resource booster double the caught fish. I know, this is stupid, but that's how it is. And it's worth taking advantage of. By fishing 5 minutes, mostly the rarest fish on the plains, I earned 24,000 from high look. And I was playing without any booster. Smita's charm also works here. You can catch as many as you can and trade them for standing points on a given day. In next days, if you have a lot of them, all you need to do is to visit High Look again for another fast exchange. And no, they will not rot in your inventory. I consider this method to be the best, but it requires the best baits, or someone in the team that will throw it for you. Teammates can throw things into the water while fishing. And during the conservation, one person can catch animal and the rest of the team will also get points, if they are close enough. Anyway, both methods are great, choose the more convenient one for you. And that's all in this video, good luck with farming. If you have any questions, please type them in the comment section or visit one of my streams, link in the description. See you next time, bye.